Hi guys, I'm Kim and today I'm going to show you my bookish insert for my Traveler's Notebook. The first page is still blank because I am not that creative and I didn't know what to put here yet. But I'm planning on doing some kind of nice dashboard or something. I'm not sure yet. Then we have my index because I number the pages myself so I can have an index. The first spread is the books I read in 2017. I do have Goodreads and keep track of all, all my books there, but I still like to have it written down somewhere. I just put all those um, triangles here and once I finish the book I just color it in. So when I started I put a triangle and once I finished I'm coloring it in. Also here you can see once the month um, came to an end, so this is January and this is February. And as you can see with the last book in January, it's colored in in blue because blue is the month of February for me, the, the color I use in my bullet journal for February. And while I started this book in January, I finished it in February, so I colored it in in blue. And if I do not finish any of those books in February, I color them in with the color of the month I finished them in. I also haven't finished this book here, so yeah. I have two pages blank to continue the spread, although that won't last. I will have to continue the spread some time later in my um, insert because I don't think this is enough space, but whatever. Here are authors to watch, so just authors I want to keep an eye out for. I don't have any here yet because I haven't had this insert for very long and I just set up, and I just set up some spreads I thought I was going to use and um, I just haven't filled them all in. As for the numbers up here, they're the colors of Tombow's I used for the spread. Then again, those are spreads I set up at the beginning and just filled in some things off the top of my head, but I'm going to keep them for a little while, so I can always, if something new comes up, I can just put them in here. And those are series. Not necessarily series I finished, but just series I think are interesting. I have fantasy series, dystopian series, as well as sci-fi series. And then we come to the main part of the insert. Those are all the books I read. So once I start a book, I will fill it in here. And then once I finish it, I can just um, take it off. I also keep running numbers so I always know how many books I've read or what book I'm on. I will go into detail later because I've changed some of the names and whatever. So I will show you later. So here we have um, all the books I have for review. So obviously I'm a pretty small booktuber. I only just started, so I only get books off of NetGalley. But I still think it's important to write them down. So here we have the book, where I got it from. So basically just NetGalley. Whether I finished it, where I posted my review and any kinds of notes. So this isn't really up to date. I just have to add um, the books I've read and reviews and everything. But yeah. For the next spread, since this is full already, I plan to do it vertically instead of horizontally, but I haven't set that up yet. So here again we are on my book pages and I have the title, the series, the author, the publishing company, the page count, in what way I read it, the release date, where I posted my reviews and notes. So obviously, as with most of my bullet journal and my insets, I mix between German and English, so you won't know all the words. So basically, title, series, author, publishing company is pretty self-explanatory. For all those things, for all those things, I will write down the German title or the English title if I read it in German, if it is available in this um, lighter pen here, as you can see here, for example, although this isn't really a nice example because I just shut it down really like badly. But here I would just write the German name of the Assassin's Blade in this blue pen, so I also know the German name. Then for the how or when I read it. The first thing is I read it on audio. So most of the time it's Kindle or maybe it says paperback or audio depending on what format I read in. Then the language I read in, English. That's why all of the information is English. If I would read it in German, the information would be in German and then I would add the English information with my gel pen. And then when I started reading it and if I finish it. 
then obviously where post my reviews and some notes. So as I said, we have the running numbers here and once I finish a book, I also just tick it off like here for example. And I didn't do this at the beginning, but I'm doing it now. So as I said, I have a color for every month and for February the color is blue. So I highlight all those things in blue and I also write down all the information in blue. And then once I finish it, I tick it off in blue. But if I finish it in March, for example, I'll tick it off with the color of March. So that's pretty easy, but it helps me keep track of when I read it even more easily. So I don't have to really pay attention to the dates. I can just flip through and see oh, blue, 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 pink, yellow, whatever the colors may be. Then here, the last spread pretty much is my whole spread, what I bought. I have two different signifiers here. I have the circle and the triangle. The circle are physical books or, yeah, physical books and the triangle are ebooks. And once they're colored in, I've read them. Also here, I made a divider for January and then once February is done, I put a divider there as well. And then we have more book spreads. So I'm not sure if this insert is going to last me through the whole year. I do hope so, but I'm not sure. So yeah, <laughs> but that's it for now. I hope you liked this video. If you have any question or any ideas what I could add to my booklet, please let me know in the comments. Also, I would love it if you subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you really liked the video. Bye.